Ahoy uh, there, once again, I am Nax, and this is Legendary Behemoth YouTube channel, and I am checking out the Trials of Mana demo. So I'm going to stay, well, for the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to say, starting off, that this runs equally as good in handheld mode as it does in docked mode. Uh, it's... You can tell that this is a remake of an older game. I will say that. It definitely feels like what it is. No, this isn't the elemental we're looking for. It's a giant monster. So why do I feel mana power coming off of it? Mana? Ooh. See, if you played this, the original version of this game, then you know what to expect. It definitely feels like exactly what it is. It definitely feels like a remake of an older game. And it very much is. Doesn't make any less fun, though. If you're a fan of these older style games, then yeah, you're gonna like this. You will like this if you're a fan of the mana games. I know I am, I was back in the day, still am. Handles nice, like controls are good, story's pretty okay. Graphics are great! Graphics are great. I ran right into that like an idiot. But yeah, this is based on the demo version, so... The demo version for the Nintendo Switch. So we're waiting for this fool to open his eyeball. Of course, you get your special abilities once you built up your special ability percentage there on the bottom. Don't want to run back into that. You can switch characters on the fly, apparently. I did not know that until now. I like it. This is a fun game. If I had the money, I would get it, but uh, is it for everybody? Well, it's an action RPG. It's very JRPG. And the... Well, you're, lo you're looking at the game's the graphical style right there, and that is... is definitely what it is. What is that? The voice acting could use some work. That'd be me. Oh boy. Voice acting could definitely use some work, but this one's definitely. I'm very jarred by this voice actor. Very, very jarred by this voice actor. In case you can't tell, this uh, this feels like a fun game. I would certainly go for. Dragon Age or Dragon, yeah, Dragon Age, Dragon Quest 11 before this one, but this one's definitely on my list. This is not bad. It's a fun, fun RPG. It's definitely a product of its time, but updated, and certainly feels like it. Looks like part of the cave broke in the fight. I think there's a short. Alrighty then. Neat. So anyway, yeah. I do quite like this. I think this is... Definitely a fun game. I think it'll... Definitely end up on my list of games that I want to get. 
your gold statues heal you and save the game. I'm probably going to play to the end of the demo at some point in time. I think I certainly wouldn't mind. I feel like I just doubled back. Like a derp. And I wanted to go this way instead of that way. Even though the quest marker is pointing me that way. And that's because I do. That's because I do. You can grow items in the inns in the game, which is a neat touch. I quite like that. So yeah, I would say if you're a fan of JRPGs, especially action JRPGs, pick this one up. If you're a fan of the original mana games, pick this one up. If you're not a fan of RPGs, then maybe hard pass it. If you are a fan of RPGs, then this one's definitely a good looking fun romp. Thanks for taking so, down yeah. the cavern barrier. Saved us some trouble. <laughs> now, Anywho, I'm just gonna from invading Wendell. Digress, take a screenshot for the thumbnail. And then here we go. <laughs> Let's get and going. then wrap this one up. If you like this kind of content, I do this kind of content quite a bit. First impressions of games, mostly Nintendo Switch games. If you'd like to see me branch out, just leave a comment. If not, I'm going to continue carrying on what I'm doing and continue making this sort of content. So if you like this kind of thing, subscribe, like, oh, that's the end of the demo. Well, there we go. <laughs> in any case, I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, whoosh.